what's up, people? Um, I've been uh, debating back and forth and going back and forth with people on uh, my Facebook and uh, also last night on Law Nation. Shout out to Law Nation. Shout out to uh, Botch Lombardi, uh, Tyson, West Coast Cowboy, all those guys. Um, but basically, uh, everybody's throwing their two cents in in regards to who's to blame for last night's debacle. I look at it like it really doesn't matter. Like, you know, a lot of people want me to break down Dak, and I will, but um, I'm the the game to game situation, I'm trying to bring people with different levels of content on this channel. Uh, and what I mean by that is just, you know, it's one thing to engage with something that you know is week to week, like a weekly breakdown of the game, uh, of this particular game, but it's another thing when someone's posing different ideas or different. Um, things that you might not have thought about, like different levels of food for thought, so to speak. I like doing that. Um, so that's what I'll continue to do. And I also will do some breakdowns on a week to week basis. Um, so this is me just dedicating myself to uh, producing more content for you guys, number one. But uh, without going into too much of that, um, I feel like Jerry Jones is the primary issue. Um, there's no other way to put it. He doubled down today on the idea that all these decisions are, are his to make, and he's the one making them, right? He made that very clear. Uh, so that he said, if there's anyone who thinks otherwise, that's not the case. Which now uh, makes things really clear. Uh, Jerry Jones likes to have his hand on the pulse, and that's probably why, as I said before, he uh, he keeps Garrett around because he knows what decisions were Garrett's versus what decisions were his own see what i'm saying um so that's really still what i believe uh so if i'm gonna blame anybody i'm gonna blame jerry because if you're gonna blame jason who's keeping him employed jerry if you blame scott linehan doesn't matter who's keeping him employed who's keeping the guy keeping him employed jerry uh, if you blame dak who's doubling down on Dak? jerry so it doesn't matter who you're blaming there's only one person to blame uh, when you have the ingredients that we have on offense and that we've had on offense, that should uh, transition into some wins. This year, if we were able to score a measly 20 points a game, how many games would we have won? Uh, if we were able to, to average 24 or, other th or to 30 points a game like we did in 2016, we'd, we'd likely be undefeated. I don't think anybody scored over 30 points on us at all. Uh, 28 is the high. And we're looking at our defense like they suck when we really should have been playing a different style defense. You know why? When your defense is playing with the lead, they get to pin their ears back. They get to rush the QB. They don't have to worry about as many running plays. And your defense can settle down and not think as much post-snap. Meaning after the ball is snapped, I don't have to think about whether or not this is a run or pass when we're up 21 nothing in the first quarter. We pretty much know we've eliminated the run game for the most part. Now you're screen passing and you're trying to get chunk yardage to get back in the game, which makes you desperate. It's just like a fight. If I'm fighting somebody and I'm up on points, it's only four rounds left. They know they have to go for a knockout. They're throwing desperation punches the rest of the game. And that's the same thing here. So that's how that game should have went. A game where we should have blown them out turns into a game where we struggle to lose. That is, I don't know, it's angering to a lot of people I know, but, um, it's not surprising at all. And I'm not, you know, trying to wallow in that. I just know that this is what, you know, this is what I believe for a while now uh, based on the fact that there was a lot of opportunities for, for this team to be something altogether different. If you were watching any other team, the way the dynamics worked on most teams, you know, we have those ingredients here. You know, we have a, a pretty good defensive coordinator. We have, uh, we're able to squeeze good talent out of our defense. We've been doing that for some time, even when they weren't as good on the back end as they are right now, they've been okay enough to win, you know, middle of the pack D. Um, then you had an offense where we can control the clock very well. All we needed to be able to do was hit some, some, some throws on the outside on a consistent basis, you know, whether that's schematically done or, you know, mechanically done via the quarterback. I don't care how we get there, but that's all we really uh, needed, period, for some time now. Now imagine uh, this. Now when, when Peyton Manning broke his neck, we knew he didn't have much time left in the league. We all knew that, right? So Tony Romo breaking his back, and I'm not what you call a Romo lover. 
I'm saying for the greater good of this team, right? And the, the greater good of Dak Prescott. Uh, I think had we kept Romo uh, and allowed him to compete for the job or just giving it back, who knows how we how we fare in the playoffs that game. You know, could have, would have, should have. But if he were able to play another two years or playing right now, um, the issues with Dak wouldn't wouldn't even exist. And the reason I say that is not because he's on the bench, but because he would be learning a lot faster than he is now. Now he has to learn on the fly in this pressure. I think Dak Prescott is the future, but now all of his hiccups that we would have been working out in, on the practice field are being worked out in front of your eyes, and it hurts to watch it because he's not there yet, and he's, you know, he has a ways to go. Now, if you hear the ownership saying we're doubling down on Dak and we're extending, this is what we're doing here. This is it, you know. So accept it, bitch about it today, say what you got to say, but this is it. So how I feel about that is, you know, that's that's pretty that pretty much sums it up. I don't feel like there will be any drastic changes because the ownership knows what's going on. I think the scapegoat of the year, drum roll please, unless we go, you know, 0 for 8 in the second half of the season, uh, that's the only way I think Jason Garrett goes anywhere. But um, other than that, we'll be losing Scott Linehan this season. Dak is staying. I really do believe Jason Garrett is staying. Um, I think they'll kick the legs out from under him in, in regards to the nepotism that goes on with the other coaches on the team. But as far as, you know, and they might go out and get a quarterback's guru, maybe. Who knows? But um, it's not looking like there's going to be any drastic changes, man. So uh, welcome to the future. Talk to you guys soon.